Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. And now that we have our control, let us control Link as Deku Scrub. Now we need to get from here over there, so there's only one way to do that. Burrow into the flower by holding down the A button. Release when he pops up that little puff of pollen. Then maneuver Link across the galley, or the gully there to the platform and open the door. Now you're going to have to do this again, and it's a little treacherous around here, so let's do this again. Puff of pollen, release. Go to the next platform. These things don't last very long, so you got to be quick. Go into the next one. We're going to go to the one straight ahead. When you see that puff of pollen, that means release. Otherwise, it's going to go straight up and down. Open the treasure chest. And there's the Deku Scrub. The Deku Nuts. Deku Nuts in this game are a lot more useful than they are in Ocarina of Time. And you'll see why in a moment. Let's go to the next platform. You have to maneuver around these set of trees. Drop them down. Go to the next one. We need to go to this one that's kind of catty-cornered, and these don't last very long, so you got to be quick and precise from going from platform to platform. That just shows you how to Z-target. If you're a veteran of Ocarina of Time, you really don't need to learn how to Z-target again. But basically, the storyline goes that this little tree... This, well, I don't want to fall off the edge there, but that little tree, that little guy there, was once a Deku Scrub, and is the son of the, uh, the king's sort of, like, lackey or something. His own butler. That's this kid. You learn that later on in the storyline. Alright, now you go into the clock tower's workings. This is the inner workings of the clock tower. Once those doors close, they do not reopen, so this is the extent of what you'll see. For the most part. That water wheel powers the clock tower. So you go up all the ramps, come around, go up the stairs, and look, you have to talk to the happy mask man. He tells you that the Skull Kid has stolen his prized possession, Majora's Mask. And he explains that... He needs it back. It's your job to get it back. You have only three days to do it. And he also notices that your precious item that he will mention here is your ocarina. You need to get that back, too. By doing so, he will return you back to Human Link, and you can switch from Human Link and Deku Link, which they all come in handy. You will take on many forms in this game, and I will show you exactly how to do it. Because I have so many people asking me, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you play Majora's Mask? Well, watch this video and you'll know exactly how. <laughs> I can't guarantee I'll find every little detail about this game, but I know I'll learn a lot of stuff is. I've played this game for years, so... Once you talk to him, it's time to leave. And it is there where you find out that you only have three days in order to do everything, but you can divert time. You can slow it down, speed it up, speed through time, restart time, all that stuff, and I'll show you how to do all that once I get my ocarina. And that's what we're going to do today. So, let us go ahead and maneuver on out of here. After ta tail, tail talks to you. Yeah, 72 hours, that doesn't leave you very much time to do anything. So... She tells you to go find the Great Fairy. Now, to save a lot of time, I'm going to show you where that, what you need to do to get bring the Great Fairy together. Watch out for that dog. He'll knock you down when you're Deku Link. First, we're going to go over here and pick up the fragment of the Great Fairy. Because when you go to North Clocktown, where the Great Fairy lives, you'll find her shattered into pieces, and she's missing one vital piece. Let's go ahead and destroy that bush, too. Now over here, you'll always get five rupees out of that box. There's the Great Fairy part, right there. Okay, now hopping across the water is Deku Link. You only have five... Oh, whoa! Okay, see that guy over there? We're gonna run into him later on. He's not important right now. What is important is getting your ocarina back. So, we're gonna take him to North Clock Town. That flower, we don't have to worry about it just yet. I'll show you what you need to do there. That is the save point, and I'll show you what to do with that once I get my sword. Because you need your sword in order to make save points. Getting your ocarina and restarting time is your main objective in this form of Deku Link. Now this is West Clock Town. Let me show you a few of the spots here. This is the post office. That's the dojo. 
There's a guard. He won't let you out because you're Deku Link and you don't have a sword or shield to defend yourself. That's the bomb shop. There's the trading post. And that there's the curio shop. Now over here, you have the banker. We have 45 rupees, so let's go ahead and deposit our rupees. This will enable you to save your rupees for when you restart time, you won't lose all your rupees. Let's deposit 45. There you go. So they ask you for your name. Puts a stamp on your head so that way no matter what form you take, that stamp will always be there for her to identify and she can hold on to your rupees. Let's leave West Clock Town and go north. Let's put you back down in south and we're going to North Clock Town, which is way up here. I pass this and right in through the door is North Clock Town. Now while you're here, feel free to pick up on some extra rupees that are lying in the bush over there. Now, as Deku Link, you can actually spin around and grab at the bushes a lot faster. You can, like, cut right through it. And... Spin, spin, spin. Try to get them all. If you can't, oh well. They'll regenerate. Pick up any loose rupees that you lose. And it's on to the Great Fairy. down to the Great Fairy, you'll see that she's shattered. This one piece will complete her and turn her into a giggling, slut-looking, slut-sounding Great Fairy. There she is. She sounds like a total prostitute. Watch out for them boobies. They'll put anybody's eyes out. Look, it looks like a skinny divine. Look at that makeup. Good God, she's like smears it on. How's this? Okay, she's giving you magic power, and that will enable you to use your bubble blaster, which is a bubble that you shoot out of your snout. Once he's revitalized, dun 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 dun! He does this little fanfare thing, like, I'm revitalized! Now you have magic power. You use the B button to release and shoot bubbles from your snout. Now she's guiding you to the observatory. Let's go there. And once you come back, you'll see that your magic meter is there. Now you can shoot bubbles. You have a weapon. Although it's a lame weapon, but you have one. Makes you think you're like Squirtle or something, spitting bubbles. That's not a weapon in my book, but it is an eye roll. Pop the balloon. Alright, now you go over to the kid. Talk to him. Looks like they're making out. <laughs> okay, now he invites you to a challenge. Your challenge is to find all five of those kids and they reveal the code. You have to do it before the next morning. And it's very easy to find them all and I'll show you exactly where they're hiding. Let's go over here and collect some more rupees. Because you could always use the extra rupees. Ooh, am I going to get them all? Yay, I got them all! Alright. First kid is over here. Okay, so he freezes. Go over here to the second one. And you'll notice that balloon comes back too. It's not important anymore. Grab the kid! He stole my milk money! Alright, so now he's frozen. Now you got three more left. Let's go to East Clock Town. That's over here. Actually, this is south. East. That's west. This is South Town right here. And up this ramp is east, which we could have gotten really easily. But I wanted to show you the long way around and show you what East Clock Town looks like. Now you come out next to the inn, right here. This is East Clock Town. East and north are connected. There's the inn right there. And this is the milk bar. Over there is the mayor's office. See where that guy came out of? Now this kid stays stationary. He's the guard. And he's the guy you gotta give the password to in order to get to the observatory. Your next kid is up here. He's got a little rooster up there. So catch him. Your next guy is right over this way. Oh, and while you're here too. Let's grab some rupees out of these boxes. 
Now, they are only available once per three days. Every time you restart time, they'll regenerate, but only in a three-day span. Let's go up on the roof here. And there's the fourth, the next kid. There's only one more left. And the last one you're looking for is in West Clocktown. Now, here are some of the games that you can play. That there's the, uh, what is this? This one's the, uh, the, uh, couple. Honey and Darling store. And then this is the Octorock shooting gallery. This there is, this here is the treasure hunt room. And we will we'll show you exactly how to go through all those places. Now, I'm going to find the fifth kid. And in our next episode of Let's Play, we will show you how, where you need to go from there. But first, let's go to find the fifth kid before nightfall. I like to find them before nightfall. Got him. So, you rejoin, you rejoin up with everybody in North Clocktown. Okay, so they'll make you an honorary member since you're a Deku scrub. Now they reveal the password one at a time, and it's always a randomly generated number. 51432. There it is. So, now you have the password, 51432. Let's go out this door. This will take you right out to East Clocktown. Alright, now talk to this kid. Remember your password? 51432. 51432. He stands aside and lets you in, and he will stay there the entire duration of the days. When you restart the days, he'll take his position back again. Now, this is kind of tricky, too, because you're going to be skipping across water. This is the path that leads to the observatory. Now, as Deku Link, you have to leap from platform to platform. And like I said, you only have five leaps. But if you're quick and you're precise, watch out for the spider. He'll come down. You have your bubble blaster, so blast him. You might get a linen. Or, I'm mean, sorry, you might... Linden, this isn't Second Life. You might get <laughs> a rupee for your trouble, but... Sometimes he'll drop five, and then you just have to get lucky. Now, these glass jars always produce rupees. These ones always produce magic jars. So you know where to go if you're short on both. Pop this balloon that stands in your way. Climb up the ladder. And away you go. Break these bottles, or these jars, because those jars contain one magic jar... And five rupees and one rupee. So you'll always get rupees, they regenerate. Every time you leave the room and come back, they regenerate. Talk to the observatory, man. He tells you to look into the telescope. So look into the telescope. And we need to zoom in right on top of the clock tower there. There's where the skull kid is. Okay, he's gonna look up at the moon, and here comes a moon tear. This is what one of the items you need in order to complete the first day. And he gives you a little mooning before leaping away. There he goes. Now there are some other things you can do with this uh, telescope. I'll show you different things that you need to do. Now he tells you to go out and get the moon tier. And it's nighttime. So let's go out and get that moon tier. I just love the way Deku Scrub opens doors. They just leap up on the doorknob and grab it. Alright, there's your moon tier. Let's go back inside. Now we're done here, so now we're going to go back out the way we came. Now remember those regenerating pots. You can always pick up extra rupees over here. There you go. Now let's leave here. And these jars will also regenerate. Oh, we're only after the rupees. It's all about the rupees in this game. Go back the way we came. Fortunately, you'll notice the spider will not regenerate until you restart time. Once they're dead, they're dead until you res restart time. But I never listen to what Tail has to or Tattle has to say. Tattle can just tattle all off, off for all I care. And making our way back through. And here we are in East Clocktown again, so making your way back to the south. As quickly as possible. Remember, these things don't generate until you restart time, so don't even bother going after them. 
Here we are in South Clocktown again. And we'll move right over to this flower. And wait for the Deku Salesman to drop down. Here he comes now. And into the flower. How he stashes those two big Balkan bags is beyond me, but he's got space down there. So now what you need to do is you need to show him the moon tier. So talk to the guy. He'll tell you that he wants to get a moon tier for his significant other. When you see that screen, press start to open the select item screen, choose and use an item with C. When you see that, that means you can interact with the other characters by giving them an item. And that has to be up before you give them an item. So hit the C button, give him the moon tier. He gives you the deed in return. That makes it your flower now. And later through the game, I'll show you... Wait a minute. He has three bags now. Wow. Okay, maybe I didn't see that third one tucked under his arm there, but... Yeah, he's got two sacks, and a big flower like that I don't think is big enough to hold those sacks. We're going to use this flower... Now this one gives you a lot more speed, or a lot more speed, a lot more distance, and a lot more energy than the regular flowers. They're colored differently. Now as you can see, those ones are yellow. Oh yeah. Those ones are yellow, and they're a little tough to climb, so it takes a little bit of uh, precision to climb up that big tall thing. Now since this thing doesn't open until midnight, what do you say we stop production of the video here? I'll come back when these doors are open, and I'll show you what you need to do in the clock tower in getting your precious item back. This is Sonic Blue Darkfold, and this has been Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the next episode, I'll show you a little shortcut to help go through time a lot better. Tune in, and I'll see you there.